Hi everyone, welcome to Jiggy Mat. So this time let's talk about variance and standard deviation of discrete random variable. Variance and standard deviation are actually measures of spread or measures of dispersion. So they indicate how the scores are scattered from each other. Now variance is the average of squared differences from the mean. So this is how we're, we are going to calculate the variance, while standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So this is the formula in, in calculating the variance. So we use this symbol, this Greek letter sigma. So sigma square is equal to the summation of fi bracket xi minus u square divided by n. So f here is actually the frequency. All right and n is the total frequency or the summation of the frequency while uh, this mu is the population mean okay so this is the way we calculate the variance given a frequency distribution table this is the other way of uh, calculating the variance so this is the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean so this is the population mean and this is the population variance so let's take a look at this example. So we get the variance from a frequency table. So if you remember, this is the example that I gave in the previous video about the uh, expected uh, mean or expected value. Okay, so 100 professional basketball players are surveyed. Each player has five three-point throws at a basket and the number of baskets scored is recorded in the table below. All right, so this is now uh, our mean. So how do we get the calc uh, how do we get the mean? So that is the summation of uh, the product of the baskets and the frequency, then divided by the total frequency. And what we get is two point fifty five, and this is the mean or this is the average. Now let's use now the formula in finding the variance. So the second formula is. Uh, what we're going to use so what is fi xi square so this is our x and we denote f as uh, our frequency so sigma square is equal to zero square so we have the frequency here which is 10 and then multiplied to uh, x square which is zero square for the first one for the second one, it will be 10 multiplied to 1 square, or 1 square times 10, plus 2 square times 25, plus 3 square times 35, plus 4 square times 10, plus 5 square times 10, then divided by the summation of the frequency. So if you get the sum of this, it's equal to 100. Or it is indicated by this, which is uh, we have 100 professional basketball players. So you calculate this using your scientific calculator and then minus 2.55 square which is our uh, population mean 2.55 square and we are going to get uh, sigma square is equal to 1.85 so this is our variance 1.85 in the standard division as you remember it is just the square root of the variance so this is the variance therefore if you get the square root of that we will have our population standard deviation which is equal to 1.36 okay so that is how we calculated the variance and standard deviation given a frequency distribution table now if the given is a probability distribution table so how do we calculate now the variance and the standard deviation so you, this is the formula variance of x is equal to e x square minus e of x in square okay so if you recall e of x is our, actually our expected value or the mean so let's use the same example but this time instead of a frequency we have probabilities okay so if you remember for the first one this is uh, we have a 10 we have a frequency of 10 so a probability that would be 10 over 100 and that is equal to 0.1 so these are all the probabilities all right corresponding to the number of baskets 
So uh, let's recall first how to get the e of x. So that is the expected values. Expected value of x, which is this. So all you have to do is to get the sum of uh, the baskets multiplied to the probabilities. So 0 times 0 0.1 for the first one, then plus 1 times 0 0.1, plus 2 times 0 0.25, plus 3 times 0 0.35, plus 4 times 0.1, plus 5 times 0.1. And uh, the answer will be 2.55. So if you remember, we get the same answer, 2.55 as our population mean, which is the expected value or the E of X if the given is probability distribution table. Okay? So, but we know that it is the same as the mean. Okay, now what is e x square? Okay, so e x square, so what we're going to do is we square this first, then we multiply to the probability. We square this, then we multiply to the probability. We square 2, we then multiply to 0.25. So we do that for all, and then we get the summation. So that is our e x square. Okay? And uh, we are going to get 8.35. So the variation of x, sorry, the variance of x is now equal to 8.35 minus 2.55. Okay? So we will get definitely also the same answer, which is 1.85. Right? Okay. So uh, you, you get the square root of that, and that will be the standard deviation of the discrete uh, random variable. Now let's solve this. So the table below shows the probability distribution of a discrete random variable x. So letter A, given that e of x or the expected value is equal to 1.5, find the values of p and q. And then B, calculate the variance of x. Okay, so let's answer first letter A. So how do we find the values of p and q. Okay, so since there are two unknowns, then this can uh, this can hint us to use the system of equations, right, or simultaneous equations. So we must have two equations. So from the formula of the expected value of x, so 1.5 is equal to 0 times 0 0.1 plus 1 times p plus 2 times q, plus 3 times 0.2, and that is supposed to be equal to 1.5. All right, so let's just put it nicely, and this is going to be p plus 2q equals 0.9. Now, we need another equation. Okay, so if you look at the probabilities, we know that the sum of the probabilities must be equal to 1. So 0.1 plus p plus q plus 0.2 must be equal to 1 or 100 percent. So simplifying that, we will have p plus q is equal to 0.7. So we know now what is the next thing that needs to be done and that is solving this two equations simultaneously and that is elimination by subtraction. So p minus p here is equal to 0. 2q minus q will give us uh, q 0.9 minus 0.7 will give us 0.2. So we got already the value of Q. And then from there, using either of these two equations, we will get the value of P. Okay, so P plus Q equals 0.7. So P plus 0.2 equals 0.7, and that will give us P equals 0.5. All right, so P is equal to 0.5, Q is equal to 0.2. Let's check again, 0.1 plus 0.5 plus 0.2 plus 0.2, it is equal to 1. All right, so calculate the variance of x. So we already have the E of x, which is the expected value, okay, and that is 1.5 square. And what we need to do now is to get the E of x square. So again, E of x square is uh, this one, x square multiplied to 0.1 plus 1 squared times 0 0.5, plus 2 squared times 0 0.2, plus 3 squared times 0 
and that will give us now part variance of x is equal to 0.85 okay and then if you want the standard deviation so you get the square root of 0.85 and that is your standard deviation thank you see you next time